Cloud collaboration is another area that's new in many respects. We don't have collaborating clouds. What we have is a collection of independent clouds, uh, the ones that are made by you know, Google or IBM or Microsoft or Amazon. Uh, I would uh, compare today's cloud world with the world of networking in 1973 when the internet ideas were first uh, beginning to uh, unfold, there were networks of computers in that time frame, and they worked very well. Uh, IBM had SNA, Digital had DECnet, uh, HP had DS, uh, there was, you know, ARPANET was running. Uh, so networks were clearly there. The problem is that every network thought it was the only network in the world. You didn't have any way of even saying, send this to some other network. There was no vocabulary for that, which is what the internet protocol contributed to. So there are lots of attractive things today about, uh, about clouds. You can replicate them, which is what we do at Google, so, and you replicate the data in order to make things very resilient. Uh, you can do dynamic capacity sharing. If you have a task that requires a lot of computing, you can allocate it temporarily and then reallocate it when that task is done. Uh, the idea of sharing data and collaborating with other people is very powerful in the cloud paradigm. If I have a, a Google Doc, for example, I can uh, work on that doc online and if other people want to work with me, they can see the changes that I'm making to it in real time. We can have our headsets on and have a conversation. So the idea that where's the latest copy, it's always the one that's in the cloud. Yeah, is very convenient as opposed to who has the most recent copy or who's in charge of editing uh, the document that might be sitting on a laptop. Uh, so the thing has uh, now that it poses itself is that <clears throat> if we have information in a cloud, how do we get it out? And one reason for wanting to get it out is that you don't want to be trapped in any one particular cloud. Google calls this data liberation, and we're very concerned that you'd be able to get your information out of the cloud if you want to move it someplace else or replicate it someplace else. So there are a bunch of little problems, and there's a list here which I won't go through entirely, but you know, how do I refer to another cloud? How do I cause it to disgorge data? How do I make the cloud send data to another cloud. If I have information in cloud A that's access controlled and I want to move the data to cloud B, I also need to move the metadata that does the access control and I need for cloud B to interpret the metadata the same way cloud A did so that the, the access control continues uh, unabated. There are all kinds of things that we might want uh, these cloud interactions to accomplish for us. The clouds today are very different in their uh, implementation. So I don't for a moment believe that we could simply stand up and say we should all build all of our clouds exactly this way. But for the uh, internet historians uh, in the group, uh, some of you will remember a protocol called Telnet. And one of the properties of Telnet was it defined a network virtual terminal. This was something that didn't exist. But every computer in the ARPANET agreed that if there were terminal interactions coming to it from the ARPANET, then it would accept terminal interactions expressed in, in this NVT, Telnet form. So if every computer was able to at least interpret that, and if it exhibited this network virtual terminal when its users were trying to get out to another uh, time-shared machine elsewhere on the net, they all agreed that this network virtual terminal would be the lingua franca. So you can imagine a network virtual cloud. This is the idea that you exhibit yourself to other clouds in a certain standardized way. It may not uh, reflect everything you're capable of doing, but at least it becomes a basis for allowing data exchange and possibly collaborative computation between clouds. Then you try to grow uh, from that basic understanding. So network virtual cloud may turn out to be a kind of way of moving forward to get clouds uh, to interact with each other. <clears throat>